Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Why are those girls staring at me? They're fairies. <laughs> Better get used to it now that you're famous. I am? You're saving Dara from the Eye of Horus. Everyone wants to see the trialing with all magic. You're the biggest thing that's happened to you since Sleeping Beauty woke up. Dara was in trouble, so I just did what anyone else would have done. But nobody except you could have saved him. All magic is very special. You're very lucky, Kyra. Yeah, I guess I am. Magic, I'd never have to come back here again. <laughs> no class for you today, Kyra. We've been summoned to the DMI. What for? Relax. Tron just wants to talk. While we're away, the DMI have sent more items to be catalogued. Lily, could I trouble you to look after the bookshop? New stock to be priced. You might want Roxy to give you a hand. No problem, Professor. The bookshop's fun. No magic. Hmm? Come along. I can't keep the director waiting. Take a seat. I need to have a word with Sean first. Come in. If you knew the orb was responsible for Kyra's powers, why didn't you tell me? Until last week, I only suspected it. Before that, I couldn't believe Edward Lloyd about bringing it back. The orb ended the Lemurian Empire. She could do the same to us. I've spent a lot of time with Kyra. She would never do... I know you feel protective of her, but you mustn't let that cloud your judgment. Kyra would never harm the magical world. And I'm the one responsible for its safety. If Kyra doesn't measure up, I have to ensure she's not a threat. You can't mean... Banishment isn't the desired option, but I will use it if necessary. Item 520, a jar of purple stuff. My official name is Goo. Goo, very official sounding. Very mean sounding according to this. Don't let it out of that jar. Feisty. Pretty car is not here to see this. I'm not expecting her back anytime soon. Well, she's only off for an interview. No one's ever had orb magic before. The DMI will want to know exactly what Kyra can do. You think they're going to test her? Well, Maxwell wouldn't let them. How could he stop them? I shouldn't be here. Not good with humans. This is a terrific place to practice. Besides, we still have to price those. Oh, good morning and welcome to Maxwell's Bookstore, the home of quality pre-loved books. How may I help you? I've got Max's morning croissant. He's not in today. We won't let that go to waste. <laughs> Yummy. 
and I had a comic on order. Uh, Roxy will help you with that. Uh, so, uh, how can I help you, sir? Sean seems to be in the tribe today. I'd love to be a fly on that one. She doesn't look very special. I heard she was born human. Then she doesn't belong here. You'll get used to it. Hello, Ola. Here to see Sean. He wants to know about your orb magic, doesn't he? Is there anybody who hasn't heard? I doubt it. I feel I owe you an apology. Putting your friend at risk during the Shadow Cloud test. You were testing my loyalty. And after your handling of the Eye of Horus, I have no reason to doubt it. I'm sure you'll be working here before long. If there's anything I can do to help, you know where to find me. He'll see you now. Kyra, thank you for coming. Take a seat. I'll take it from here, Maxwell. Portal, thank you. Now, I'm sure you know why I asked to see you. I possess orb magic, which I never asked for and which I'd gladly give up if it's going to be a problem. Well, I don't know if that's possible, but we're certainly looking into it. But I am relieved to hear you say that. Now, let me tell you what's on my mind. You can't be seen together. You have to go. I'm a legitimate customer. I'm allowed to be here. I think this is the one you ordered. If you're so worried about keeping our secret, why did you fix my tire? That was you, wasn't it? You're reading this all wrong. Really? When you didn't do the mind wipe thing, I kind of assumed... Don't. Magical people cannot fraternize with humans. And although you have ties to the human world, while you have orb magic, I need to know that you're fully committed to us, to our world. You're asking me to choose? Well, my duty is to protect the magical world, so yes, I'm asking you to choose. I can't turn my back on my dad and my friends. So your loyalties are divided. Can you see how that's a problem? I can't risk you using orb magic against us. I would never do that. You say that, but how can I be certain? You need to forget about me. I don't want to. You have to. I, I can't have anything to do with you. You don't mean that? Yes, I do. Really? Really. Okay. Fine. I'm not a danger to you, truly. Ask Maxwell, he'll vouch for me. Well, I'm afraid it'll take more than your teacher's endorsement to convince me you're not a threat. Then ask someone else. Ask Lily. Lily's not here. How'd you go? OK, I guess. I knew you'd be fine. Humans really aren't very different <laughs> from us. Why am I here? Lily, tell your father I can be trusted. Of course she can. See? Dad, what's going on? So you think this is funny? <laughs> Maybe a little. This is exactly the misuse of orb magic that I feared. You thought nothing of using my daughter to prove your point. I didn't Lily, realize this that. is not your concern. I would never have done it if I thought it would hurt her. I know, but what you did was immature and reckless. You're, you're too young to wield such power. It's all very well for Lily to say that you can be trusted, but your actions speak louder than words, and they tell another story. Dad. You can go. Lily, you meant to be at the bookshop. It's okay. Roxy's still there. How's it going? No one knows orb magic better than you. Can it be removed? I don't know. Well, find out. Quickly. I just thought Lily would tell her dad I'm okay. How wrong was I? <laughs> well, 
power of magic is new. They're scared of you. He was trying to show Sean he doesn't have to be. And you succeeded in doing exactly the opposite. We have some damage control to do. Any ideas? Let me think about it. A dog would be worried about its looks. Well, all my canine patients take great pride in their coats. Greetings, all. Hungry, I am starving. Lily told me you had an interview with Kyra today. Ella, let's not go there. Hmm? Kyra is Lily's friend. She can't be bad. Yeah, well, that may be, but I have my job to do. Are you suggesting I'm not doing it to the best of my abilities? Of course not, but Kyra wasn't born into our world. She didn't ask for her magical abilities, Dad. She didn't ask for the all power. And Kyra's had to learn about it in such a short time. Can you imagine how oh, hard that's please. been for her? If Mum can see that, why can't you? Lily, please, stay out of this. It's DMI business. But Kyra's my friend. She's a good person. She's always nice to me, so why can't we be nice to her? From what Lily tells me, Kyra was simply trying to impress you. And we know how hard that is. I don't want to discuss this any further. Fine. What's cooking, sweetheart? Chocolate cake with buttercream filling and strawberries. Be still my beating heart. Dad! Can't wait to try it. It's not for us. Then who? It's not Peter's birthday already, is it? No, it's for somebody you don't know. Well, whoever it's for, I hope they appreciate it. So do I. You shouldn't be here. I want to apologize. I made it myself. You must be Kyra. Lily's told me all about you. I just came to drop this off. Here you go. I really am very sorry for yesterday. Goodbye. Are you hungry? Why don't you stay for lunch? There's plenty of food, isn't there, Sean? Kyra? Uh, she's staying for lunch. Oh, that's great. I don't want to impose. You won't be. Sean's almost finished the lawn, then he'll fire up the barbecue. We're very casual here on the weekend, aren't we, darling? Yes, very. That would be lovely. Thank you. Come inside, Kyra. Mum will look after you. I'll be back in a sec. I can't mind the bookshop by myself. Kyra's staying for lunch. I have to be there. This is her chance to make up for yesterday. You want to help her, don't you? Of course. Where's the professor? I think he said he was going to the DMI. You can do this. I know you can. But... You made the cake yourself. It looks wonderful. I got the recipe online. It's supposed to be foolproof. Kyra's so busy. She juggles magic school, human school, dog walking, being a champion basketballer, and she's fantastic at all of them. I don't know how she does it. I wouldn't say fantastic. <laughs> Modest, too. Yes, Lily, we get the idea. Lily mentioned you can talk to animals. Only one dog. She's called Doris. An old boxer. Doris is one of my patients. I love her, but she does have some curious ideas. I'll bet she doesn't nag about why you don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> does your family know where you are? I told my dad I was at a friend's for lunch. He's at work today. Lily told me you lost your mother. That must be hard. Dad and I get by. I'm sure it's made you quite resilient and mature. And resourceful. And also Lily. quite... <laughs> Help yourself, Kara. We don't stand on ceremony here. Hey, Max. I forgot to pick up my comic yesterday. Maxwell isn't here. Oh, I, uh, came to get my comic. I forgot it. That's what happens when you argue, you forget things. You started it. I did not. You've got zombie swamp rats? 
Your website says you've got a fast edition. Where is it? Right, uh, the comic books are over there. You shouldn't be here. <sighs> Not that again. Got it. Mum said I couldn't have it! I saw it first, okay? I've wanted it for ages! Give it here! No! This is a lovely lunch. I should have invited you ages ago. Well, I get the feeling that inviting a trialing over is a touchy thing to do in your world. Not at all. Is it, Sean? Well, we uh, both work long hours. It's hard to find time to have dinner with our own family, let alone guests. My dad's the same. Oh, he's a policeman. Which is kind of similar to what you do. You both protect people. Although I guess you don't fly around with lights and sirens on your wings. Well, we, uh, we need to be a little more discreet. It's a job that never stops, right? My dad tries not to bring work home, but sometimes he has no choice. I know how he feels. It seems to me that the magic world and the human world have quite a lot in common. Here. It's a bookshop I'm browsing. Can you hurry up? I don't think Max would approve you talking to a customer like that. Chris, tell him it's mine. I found it on the website. I found it on the shelf. <sighs> Any reason you can't share, he gets it for a week, then you get it for a week. Is this your shop? No, I'm just a customer. Then buzz off. Bad. No, if Nate, one of you buys it. this comic and I give the other one another comic for half price. I get this one. No, I want it. You're not getting it. Roxy. What? You really need to see this now. Give it to me. Make me. I'll tell mom. I don't care. It's good. Give it to me. Let me have it. Good. Stop it. We have to get the boys to leave before they see it. They're not going until one of them has that comic. comic. I don't want another comic. Lily, would you like to give me a hand? Thank you. I still can't get over how wonderful your world is. What I've seen is so amazing and precious. I get that you have a world to protect. I get that it's hard to trust someone who has so much power when you barely know them. Well, it's not just a case of me trusting you, Kyra. Trust is a two-way street. You've got to feel that you can trust me too, or you will never feel secure in our world. But I do trust you. Absolutely. How can you be so sure? Easy. You're Lily's father. She's such an amazing, generous person. Very. I can see she's like that because of who her parents are. I mean, that's why you agreed to the lunch. You could have said no, but you didn't. Because you trust her. Mm-mm. Can I see that? Please. You know what? I just remembered something. Uh, just as I thought. We have two copies. Cool. Thanks. Maxwell's bookshop aims to please. Tell your friends. <laughs> Where'd it go? <laughs> that was so nice. Thank you for having me. Uh, you're not going already. Sorry, Lily, I really have to. It's been a pleasure, Kyra. I hope you'll come again. <laughs> well, I've got work to do. Bye, Kyra. Bye. My dad's not a bad man. I never thought he was. He's under a lot of pressure from work. It's not easy being the director of the DMI. I can imagine. He's not normally like this. I don't think I've ever seen him this stressed. Do you think I got through to him? You can tell me the truth. The truth is, I don't know. Why 
What exactly is goo? It's like magical pond scum. We have to catch it before it gets outside. Why? It gets to water, it grows. By this time tomorrow, it will be the size of a football field. And did I mention it's mean? Mean? How can pond scum have attitude? Oh. <gasps> right. Like that. Don't move. Keep coming here. I buy comics here. Maxwell will get sus if I stop coming in. We do hang out in the same cafe. Meaning? It's possible we might run into each other. Completely by accident, of course. It's possible. <laughs> Very possible. Morning. Sorry I'm late. Sean called me in for an early meeting. He still sees me as a threat, doesn't he? That is totally ridiculous. Yeah, Kara wouldn't hurt anyone. We should go and tell him. How oh, now? Before you do anything rash, let me finish. Sean told me he had a lunch guest yesterday. Apparently the young woman showed great maturity. Sean has decided to take no action regarding your powers. You're safe. <laughs> He also mentioned that you made an excellent chocolate cake. Any chance of a sample? Uh, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs>